It's your boy. Who are you? Why do you want to talk to Elmer? Bank business. I have a job at the bank and I uh, heard that he was the boss. Your point? Just bank business, nothing more. Okay, the study's over there. Thank you. Elmer! Nora, whose man is that? Oh, that's just Crowley, a lawyer. That's him? Do you know him? I mean, a long time ago, he did something with the law in our town. Yeah, he still does that. He's changed. I heard his marriage sucks. He's widowed. And with kids. He's been going through a lot. You're probably right. Let's not talk about it anymore. It's pretty petty. Oh, my bad. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. Um, Dr. Ray, this is Mrs. Lynn. Mrs. Lynn, this is Dr. Ray. Hi. Oh, I've heard about you. I think we passed by on the stairs. Yeah, those things are tiring. So you're probably here to rest it? I'm here to work. That'll help you rest nicely. Yeah, your girl's gotta live, you know. Work's been rough for me. What do you mean? Crocs that that guy's really grinding my gears. Yeah, do you know why he came and talked to Elmer? Probably about being so. I didn't even know he worked at the bank. Yeah, he's around. I don't know if it's like this where you're from, but you around here like to black them each other. It's the same everywhere. People need Jesus. They make this world rough. What are you laughing at? Nothing, nothing. So what's funny? I want to laugh. Nothing, forget about it. Um, do you want a macaroon? I thought this was forbidden. Uh, Mrs. Lynn got them for me. Oh, really? Um, Helmer says they're bad, but they're pretty good. Just try it. This is my friend Kristen, and she just got here. Do I know you? Come on, Mrs. Lynn. Oh, yes, you're a friend. Oh, friend. Yeah, we've been friends. She's Oh, so you do office work? <laughs> you came at a good time. Thank you. Well, I'm about to leave. Can I go with you? Let's go. How long do you take? An hour. Okay, that's too late. Christina, are you leaving too? Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Go back. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, Nora. What's up? We need to talk. Um, kids, go play with Anne Marie. You got it. What's up? Um, it's not the first of the month yet. Yeah, I know. I can't pay right now. We can talk about that later. Do you got time to spare? I guess. I seen your hubby in town today, and he was walking with a woman. And? Was that Mrs. Lind? Yes. Is she a good friend? Yeah, but I don't see I her. knew her once. Be honest. Is she going to work at the bank? Yeah, she is, and I'm the reason why. So I guess right. You need to calm down, because I have a lot to say about what goes on here. So so could you use that say to help a brother out? What do you mean? I'm going to lose my spot at the bank. And you, can you make sure I don't? Who are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You know who. I seriously don't know who you're talking about. Nah, but there's still time to save me. I can't control that. But you just said. <laughs> you can't actually listen to me. I don't control him. But I'm gonna fight for my job. Yeah, I can see that. But it ain't about the money. It's more than that, uh, it's more than that. So I've heard, but I can't just do it as easy as you think I can. That's because you don't want to. But I got you like this. You can't tell him- Bet. That's not cool, how can you expose me like that? Oh, it's more than just exposing you. Go for it, you're still never gonna get your job back. Oh, so you're only scared of being exposed? My husband can pay back the money, but you're still fine. So you really don't remember the deal, huh? What do you mean? You asked for some money, and I got it for you, correct? I didn't have anywhere else to go for money. I got the money for you, right? Yeah. Okay, when I gave it to you, I gave it to you with certain conditions, correct? Yes. I gave it to you to send it in, correct? Yes. And you bought it back signed, right? Yes, and I made all my payments, right? That's not the point. Times were tough for you, right, Miss Elmer? Yes. Do you remember the day your father died? Yes, the 20th of September. That's right, I've checked that. But see, something doesn't make sense to me. If he died on the 29th of September, then why was it dated October 2nd, three days prior? I signed his name. That's a dangerous confession, Mrs. Elmer. Why do you care? You're getting your money anyway. Why didn't you just give him the paper in the, in the first place? He was sick, and I didn't want him to know what the money was for. I just wanted to save money. Didn't you realize this was a fraud against me? 
I wasn't thinking about you. My only concern was saving my family. I don't ever think your husband knows what you've done. Did you you're save no better your than me. Wife, though? But you're no better than me. Did you save your wife though? Laws don't inquire into motives, Mrs. Helmer. Well, these laws are stupid. Either way, it's fraud. And if I lose my job and go down, you're coming down with me. Good day to you, Mrs. Helmer. Bye. You should be in prison. Why? A man with all that guilt just wants to save himself. Are you sure? Yes, especially the mother. Why especially the mother? It's usually the mother influence that's the most dominant. Nora, promise me to never plead his case again. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. Let's go. 